back. The disease was already described in 1908 by an Austrian otorhinolaryngologist, Routine, and he used the term which we often use, Neuritis vestibularis in German. But now, according to the international classification system of vestibular disorders, it's now called acute unilateral vestibulopathy, and this is going to be the term for the future. Here you see the data from our German dizziness center in Munich on more than 23,000 patients, and you can easily see that acute unilateral vestibulopathy is after benign paroxysmal positioning vertigo, vestibular and Menier's disease and acute unilateral vestibulopathy, the third most frequent type of vertigo. The annual incidence ranges around 10 per 100,000. In our center, we see about 100 to 200 patients per year, which require a treatment. The long-term recovery rate is quite good, but today we are focusing on the short-term treatment of the symptoms, not the long-term outcome. The recurrence rate is between 2 and 10 percent. And one serious complication is the development of so-called secondary functional dizziness. This in particular occurs if you experience very severe spinning vertigo. And this is something we can reduce with the drug we are going to talk about.